As informações! <risos> Next week, Harris will face off against Vice President Mike Biden. Reporting in Tunica, Kelly Roberts, WMC Action News 5. But you might hit some mist if you come across some of that thicker fog. Right here, back here, at all the time, here. Right lanes in the center lane for you this morning. We apologize for a little bit of technical difficulties right now. But first, I broke out the yellow today, orange. Or <laughs> I just called you orange, Justin. <laughs> Let's try that again. Of course, with clear skies, so we are expecting to see my head's cut off. Hey, well, that's a little bit weird, and that's not supposed to happen. But hey, what do you know? The state's, the state's lieutenant governor. Wow, that was an interesting, <laughs> that was an interesting glitch. News Channel 5's Chris Davis is live at the downtown post office right now. And Chris, you have some important reminders for people. I do, carry That secondary round of rain. Hey, wow, look at that. I just wanted to be a little bit bigger. That's, that's cool. I've been working out, trying to get myself a little bit bigger. Now reporting live in... Where are we, Harvey? <laughs> I'm Casey Ferran. Back to you. Casey, I feel you. Thank you so much. We'll see you back here bright and early starting tomorrow morning and just to savor it all. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, hi! <laughs> to Monday. Oh my goodness, we have a spooky guest here. <laughs> on Halloween. Oh my goodness. It is certainly a spooky. After the first Victorian lockdown, dance studios across the state were allowed to reopen alongside schools. Yet this time around, they've been re- uh, Governor Edwards tonight said no to a proposal that would have given Louisiana lawmakers the power to overturn any of his emergency declarations. He has vetoed that bill. Thank you, Lester, for that appearance. Uh, looking at some cloud cover over our Nacogdoches cam, even a bee there that was popping up on the camera. It's a pretty great day to be outside. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, that was a bad one. Uh, Kristen, we didn't hear from you, Woo, where I think she's she getting comes, in this yeah. place. Kristen, um, what's your guess? I was thinking um, mints that you can get from restaurants. You know, you oh. just grab a handful, put them in the drawer, and then never see them again. Yeah. Alvarado Street, so you will nudist, nudist, oh my gosh, I think I have noodles on the brain. Notice, Chris, I don't know where that came I from. Noodles. I know, noodles sound good. <laughs> I want noodles. Anyway, there are cro you're, you'll notice Cruz on the scene. Coming up in just a few minutes. Oh. Um, all right, that's different. <laughs> We just made YouTube bloopers, I think. <laughs> I think so. The Trump, the 45th president of the United States, has contracted uh, HIV, and contracted uh, H1, <laughs> contracted COVID-19. Uh, H1N1 is on my mind as well, too. But anyway. Reporting inside Globe Life Fart. Fart. Globe Life Fart. <laughs> Thank you. And there are also new rules for professional sporting events. The st are you hearing that music? Oh, is this a spa story that we're doing or, or a pro sports story? It's like, <laughs> am I hearing that? But it's very relaxing. Let's go on. And the show. It's super special. And I know we wanted to say hi to... <laughs> He's been rolling around this morning, so... Perp so says hi, cute. everyone. <laughs> Hello to you, Herbie. Thank you, everyone, for watching. The 8 million new subscribers since January, all sharing the same password. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's sweet. It's <laughs> all right? It's funny because it's true. I got it. This Halloween may not be like the years before it. <laughs> Sorry. We can do even a single box if you want. Uh, that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Liz McLaughlin shows us the many ways families are celebrating while social distancing. Didn't realize that was on, but I guess I am. <laughs> <laughs> and here's as I'm getting laughed at right Monday. now. Monday. Yeah, Monday. <laughs> that basically is Monday in a nutshell right there. Oh, the kitty! Happy Global Cat Day, everyone. Just had to show my, my little man, J-Mo, here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so he grumpy. You're so mad. Why are you looking so grumpy? <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> love that. If 
you're trying to get a car wash, tomorrow's a decent day. Sunday, not so much. Lights are going crazy in here. Wow, okay. I I've got... <laughs> what on earth is happening in here right now? We have completely lost control of the lighting in this studio. So I was talking to some of your other co-stars, uh, Jessica specifically, and, and some advice that she had for you was just being open-minded and, and whoops, excuse me, my chair just broke. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go fix my mangled stool right here. This needs oh, my goodness. So, yeah. And it's going to be kind of a... I don't know, stay inside by the fire kind of weekend, yeah. depending on how, how, uh, how much you, how you, <laughs> hey, Michael, if you just saw that, that was our production assistant, Michael, oh, making a little amazing. appearance. Good morning, Northwest. Thank you so much for joining us on this. I almost said Monday morning. It's Tuesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday. We Tuesday. already did Monday. Let's not do it again. I'm Carissa Lemkel subbing in tonight for Monica, you, you know, have you had your coffee? <laughs> I guess I haven't had enough. <laughs> I apologize. It's Tuesday and it's Tuesday morning, everyone. Tunnel for the past few months. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't realize you were back on. I went down and you had video on the mic fail, but there we go. Thank you, Leland. Live TV, gotta <laughs> love it. This is going to make the blooper real for sure. Well, the pandemic has many of us thinking twice about what we touch in public. Coke and Amazon teaming up to remove the soda machine from that list. You can go. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Coke's new freestyle machine will include a QR code. It's choreography, Carrie. Great for a blooper. This is just 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 great for a blooper. Morning news hell. Morning news hell. Morning news hell. Morning news hell. Hey, hey, ho, ho. 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 And that's it for sports tonight, but WCPO 9 news continues right after this. What? Really? Poop? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your input. <laughs> Was it really that bad? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I'll try it again. If you're going to have trouble driving home from work, whether you're in the thick of it or you've got some of that heavy slushy slow on the ground, it just makes those roads so much slippier. Slip, slip. <laughs> <laughs> well, you went on a slippery slope there to begin with. I, I don't know what you said before I that. Don't know. It was close. I was like, say that again. I can't. Okay. We'll just pass that one to you. <laughs> oh, no, don't hand it to me now. We're starting off with temperatures in the 40s at the bus stop. Gave it the grade of an F. Well, we, that says 652. That's not right. It's supposed to say 52 degrees. I don't expect temperatures to be 652. Mostly, yeah, that's why it's an F. Six. Mostly cloudy skies tonight. It will be mostly cloudy again tomorrow. We'll be warmer though as a warm front comes in. Fair warning, I have the hiccups, so just bear with me. <gasps> Sarah, they there. 55 up in Clinton. I'm sorry, I tried to get rid of them. That cold front came in, <laughs> and I expect temperatures to be chill chilly this morning. Temperatures tonight will drop drop into the middle 30s. You're sure gonna want to cover up your plants. <gasps> Excuse me, and bring your plants in. If you're working from home, you might want to stay inside today because it is going to be chilly. You look you look at uh, 90s in our forecast through this next Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. All of this is 10, 15 degrees above normal. You know what's crazy? You see that? My pocket square just completely just like jumped out. Voila. Let me just see if I, maybe I can clean up those 90s. Just get it out of there. Oh, look, 80s came oh, and 70s. That's all we needed as I put this back in. Yeah. To get the recipe, visit our website and look for Beer Basted Sausages. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found an October Festival way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. You might want some music or something else for the party in addition to that, but it looked good, didn't it? It, it looked good. I don't, I don't know what kind of party you're throwing. Sausage party. All right. Stay with us. We'll come back with a final check of your forecast before we go. They're also reminded that federal law prohibits feeding or attempting to feed monk seals. The state says fishermen have been seen recently feeding seals on the leeward coast from their catch of Halalu. Question. Yeah. How do monks sign their letters? Oh, we got a good joke coming. I can tell. You got that look in your eye, my friend. I do not know the answer, though. With a monk seal. <laughs>
<laughs> did you invent that? I just thought about that one. Did you really? I did. That's incredible. Okay, all right. Our weatherman turned comedian, turned back weatherman right now, because yeah, we're going to take a fast. look at weather. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry about that. We were just uh, having some technical difficulties. You're with BBC News with the latest business headlines for viewers in the UK. Hello, hello, I'm Sally Bondock with the latest business stories. As you could see there, the cameras are on their own mission right now. So let's see if they stay on me for the duration of this program. Let's hope so. Can you guess where I am? A ghost. <laughs> Do you want to guess why? Uh, because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because. 2020 has been nothing but boo sheet, okay? Put your hand if you're with me. We are talking Halloween costumes. And let me tell you something else. Oh my We've got gosh. to go here at Discover Goodwill. <laughs> I have to come out of hiding. Look who came down this morning. I don't know if we can see Ruby. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Guys, back to you. <laughs> wow. so cute! Ruby looks different than the last time I, I saw her. Ruby's been eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby's not missing any meals. We all have. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> I was trying to be so nice. You're like, Ruby looks different. <laughs> Listen, we're all staying at home. Ruby's put on the COVID-19. Oh my goodness. How do we move on from that? Wouldn't that be interesting? What if is I, I don't want to look at the two because I saw it in the monitor. I don't want to see it either. Oh my gosh, why are you guys playing the clown videos? Is that the ah! Like they do in the haunted houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Adler, we are not friends anymore. <laughs> I, <just laughs> I have something cool for you. Uh, you know our buddy Jeff Forgeron, meteorologist yes. Jeff Forgeron. He has a costume for us. So come on out, Jeff. He's going to help me with a little bit of the weather here. Oh. And we're going to see how this, if oh you can my take, gosh. <laughs> take the, uh, take the uh, chroma key right there, hit the button, the fancy button. There. Oh, oh it's so what? We were hoping he it would key you. out. But it's still a great costume. <laughs> it's still, yeah. How is this <laughs> not it working? <laughs> what? <laughs> How did that put not Put the hood work? on. Go ahead and put the hood on. It, it looks like it would have keyed I out. I can't believe it, it. That was a mean trick, Andy. It was it a trick. It was, but it was worth a shot, don't you think? <laughs> That's one of the things you learn. Some, you win some, you lose some. And I feel like that was a draw. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Friday. It is October the 9th. Good to be with all of you at 6 a.m., bright and early. Lisa, I want to stay with you. Where, where are you? Come back. I, Wait, here I am you telling you how side. good it is to be with you, and then <laughs> I just drift into a world unknown. It is oh. good to be with you this morning. See? See, there it is. Well, you know what? We're just losing control of the cameras today, so uh, it's Friday, obviously. Hi, Tara. <laughs> Just like all my exes. There you go. Hey, Good job. No way. Happen. You're going to get hit up on social media now. For everybody, uh, that chair that was just on the camera, that's the chair that Lisa used to sit in. We're getting somewhere. And Should I just go over and see how far this goes? Because this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Yeah. yeah, he's just great. 
Yeah, no, that is, it's, it's awesome to see this and just see all the work that you guys put in it and the life skills that you're learning through FFA and that's what is so important about this is kind of teaching the next generation of, you know, these farmers and these people in agriculture and that's why they wanted to have this here still at the Iowa State Fair. Yeah, lots of fun things to see there, Whitney. Thanks so much. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> Somehow feel like I actually <laughs> was at the Iowa State Fair. Jeez, that was a hungry was calf. Just so... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh boy, I'm mature, but... virtual <laughs> state <laughs> fair there. <laughs> we took you to the fair. It's time for us to check in with meteorologist Mike Rizzo. It is the time we've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> How funny is this? I love it. Do you do I am the food cast, everyone. Hey, happy Halloween. It's, uh, I think the mood cast. <laughs> that is, is that pretty amazing? good. So good. <laughs> and my I, favorite I'm one, the hard eyes. <laughs> yes, yes. I was still able to do it. Right? I, I know like I'm, I'm a floating head. Mike, you yeah, never... I'm a low key, like, I'm truly behind here. Hi. Like... <laughs> Oh my God, you're always amazing us here, Mike. How do you do what yeah. you do? <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, my room is real. I promise that. This is, this is not fake. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, awesome. Man. I love it. This is great. Thank you. All right, guys, let's get to our forecast and take a look at what our mood cast for Halloween is going to be. Well, it looks like we're going to be dealing with mainly cloudy skies, some areas of patchy fog, mist, and drizzle. Ah, oh, it's a total Tuesday. It's a Tuesday in the current household. Dogs. Love them. No, I don't. All right, let's see what's going on out there right now where we are going to be dealing with temperatures in the lower 60s. We've got areas of patchy fog that will continue to um, roll in. That marine layer is going to be a problem. Visibilities are going to continue to drop from time to time. Hey, 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 stop. Stop. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. You're gonna have to apologize to the people right now for being for being a brat. What? No, 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 no. You can't do that. You can't do that at all. What? No, you can't do that. Get over here. You. Does anyone want a dog? Or two or three? My goodness. Oh, oh man. <laughs> it is a Friday morning. <laughs> Look at that thing. Chrissy is having some <laughs> microphone <laughs> troubles. But you thing. know what? We're going to get it all sorted out. It's just like dangling there. Chrissy, turn what happened break. to it? I, I'm going to help you out. I don't know. What? How did it happen? I usually know how to fix them, but this one is different. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's and then, just there. And then I tried to fix it, and then I dropped my clicker, and it's been... You know, it looks like a small happen. bug. This one yeah, looks I like... know. It's just... <laughs> we'll get it fixed for you. We'll get it fixed. Maggie will help yeah, you Yeah, we'll out. get it all fixed up. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, can you help her with the weather too, maybe? Clouds and sun tomorrow, breezy 77. So if you want to enjoy the leaves changing today and tomorrow, mostly sunny today as well. And then on Sunday, we will have showers arriving in the afternoon, turning into a steadier rain. High of 64. <laughs> We gotta get that oh, thing man. fixed. Oh man, we gotta yeah. get it fixed. Yeah, right. I was gonna say I can I can fix the microphone, but I, I can't do the weather. No, neither can I. We'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> we would be yeah. in a lot of trouble. Yeah. South Florida residents are familiar with how once <laughs> I remember these from last year. <laughs> Picture drops <laughs> to the 40s. Those <laughs> just fall out of the trees. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> Have you seen this before? No. I, yeah, it's quite a sight to see. <laughs> so apparently they don't literally freeze, but they you know, this is so sad. They become so stiff they can't hold on to their perch. <laughs> Most of them are not. I'm sorry, you're going to have to finish this. <laughs> Can you finish it? Yeah, I can finish that are affected by non-native tropical species like iguanas who flourish in the Florida sun on warmer days. So why is it happening? Not yet clear whether it's adaptation or evolution or maybe the lizards are just getting acclimated or used to being cold. So, <laughs> so they're... It's just like I could watch that over and over. But you know, they're fine. They, they, you yeah, know, no, they start to the warm part. up and they, they're able to move again. But that's yes. why I can laugh, right? Exactly. They're not actually hurt or <laughs> frozen to death, which but is For those great, of you who are seeing this for the first time, yes. It, it, this happens all the time for them. Just a, just a phenomenon. Yeah. All right, let's take a quick break here on Good Morning Northwest so that I can recover. But first, let's take a live look outside. Well, Emily, we are watching the Hornets having a party by your cameras back there. I just saw a wing in the top corner. We are on watch. There it is. Oh! <laughs> 
We are on Wasp Watch 2020. They're so big on those cameras, though. That's why I thought it was a bird Aren't earlier. You get whacked in the head or something. Allie, it's 2020. It might be that big. The stingers oh. that things like that big. Duck and cover. Oh, I can't. I can't. What? Now it looks like we have double. I mean, we said to have lunch outside, and they got the word. So there they are. No, Kent took off a week, and now we have two wasp cams. I'm just oh. saying. All right, let's go and take a look. Oh, I can't. It is brutal. Seriously, we were showing it last week, joking about it, wasp cam. Now we have a second one. <sighs> Our poor engineers. We're going to make them put on a bee suit, get a can of raid, <laughs> climb up there and get it done. Oh, really? Now we're just showing off, okay? Whew. Doesn't it give you the heebie-jeebies, though? I swear, I will run for my life for a wasp. All right, taking a look. Pool nearby, jumping in it. Wasp, <laughs> I will hold my breath. Take a look at this wild chase inside Trinity High School in Euless, Texas. A raccoon evading capture. <laughs> I, just, I can't just look at him go. A school, <laughs> school staff in animal control. <laughs> chase through the halls. The little guy manages to dodge feet and the animal control officer's lasso. <gasps> Oh my Eventually, gosh. someone he, thought, you want to take back over here? <laughs> Eventually, someone thought to open the door and gave him, you know, a gateway to freedom. Look at that. So what intense. A production. Oh, my. I mean, <laughs> I he know, just was not. I want to know who, which the security guard had to get this footage and why they needed to document it so much. That's some investigative journalism. Look at them yeah. go. Or maybe they knew that this was a viral moment in the making and they, they went through the efforts to, oh. I mean, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that's good stuff. Uh, the weather looks great, actually. Tomorrow, not as uh, hot as today. We did get into the 80s. 71 degrees for your high. Last day to early vote. Keep that in mind. General elections next Tuesday. For now, the weather looks good then, too. Halloween weekend, 78 degrees. 80 on Sunday. Don't forget the time change Saturday nights in the next week. For now, no chance of rain. That's good news. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on Local 23 News at 5 a.m. Have a great night. <laughs> well, here's a story that you can definitely share with your coworkers today. An Oklahoma woman told Enid police she had to, quote, poop so bad after getting pulled over for not wearing a seatbelt. When the officer ran her information, he found that she actually had a warrant for her arrest. But she continued to beg the officer for him to let her go. And when that didn't work, well, she sped off. And so bad. Where do you think I was birthday, going? Man. Huh? Birthday. Calm down. If they don't if they don't end up extraditing you for the warrants, I'm just gonna cite and release you. You just need to call you a ride. <laughs> Nobody's gonna come get me right now to poop. We need you to let me go. She led police on a high-speed chase that lasted a few blocks. They ended up catching up to her, and she was arrested. She was booked on charges ranging from eluding to reckless driving, including drug charges. Whether she actually made it to the can, Enid police say she told officers that arrested her that she no longer had to use the bathroom, and that feeling had passed. Thank goodness. <laughs> Did you hear her say it was also her birthday? What? Yeah, did you say that it was her birthday? No, I didn't hear that that's part. A, I, that's a crappy birthday. My goal was just to make it through that story, <laughs> and I did. Uh, the time now is 5.38. Tom, I'm just going to toss it to yeah, you. Yeah, let's just go to weather on that one. I think we got a big one here. I mean, honestly, Adam, these ghouls may need a jacket because they're kind of bony. All right. No bones about it, you all. A Texas homeowner's Halloween decorations is causing controversy. It's brewing in her Richmond neighborhood. Check it out, folks. The story of the day, Angela Neva does not have skeletons in her closet. They're on full display in her front yard. Well, her homeowners association has a bone to pick with her. I wonder why. She says that they told her to remove the skeleton strip club display. In these photos, you can see the skeletons dressed in colorful wigs. Some are frozen mid-dance, holding on to a pole. Guess you could say they danced to death. Their fathers had one job. Anyways, Neva has been told to take down the display in 30 days, which is okay with her because Halloween, psh, it will be long over by then. Oh my goodness. 
kind of want to drive by that house. Now, if you need another good laugh, folks, I'm here till 10. In the meantime, check out this. This is a wild chase inside a high school near Dallas. A raccoon evading capture as school staff and animal control. <laughs> Look at that guy dodging it. Through the halls, nice little guy managed to dodge feet and the animal controller officer's lasso. Eventually, someone thought to open a door. Well, that's great. Good thinker. And guess what? The critter was able to get away to freedom. <laughs> Only, only in Texas. Hello, everyone. Biondo here. Biondo uh, filling in for Aaron Perlman. Uh, he's such a, a nice young man, that, that man is. Uh, thank, thank you, Aaron. Uh, he's walked away, turned his back towards Biondo. Never turn your back to Biondo. Knows all, sees all, is all. Knows that it's going to be 80 degrees today. Tonight will be 52. And I also know that tomorrow will be 81. You know why Biondo knows that? Because I read it. <laughs> uh, Biondo, looking into the future. The future says that this ridge of high pressure will continue to stay over California. And stay over California it shall. All the way into next week. Boring. You have a boring forecast, Bakersfield. You know, when I lived in Arabia, it was much, much more exciting. We had triple digits and things would melt. Here it's just the 80s and, and 80 shall be. Take a look at this, more so on Halloween, 81 degrees for that day, 81. That's an interesting day, temperatures at 81. What about when you trick or treat? Temperatures will fall into the 70s. You know why they fall? Because it's fall, it's autumn. Oh, that's, a, that's a Biondo joke. <laughs> oh, and take a look on Sunday. Sunday will be the day we all turn our clocks back an hour, or AKA, I like to time travel. Let's time travel. Let's go back in time. In fact, I'll do that right now. I'm time traveling. I can see what's going to happen in the future. Mm. I'm going to time travel back. You know what I saw? You know what I saw in the, in the past? I saw that uh, we, were, we were looking at uh, the Dodgers won the World Series. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's, that's what happened in the past. The Dodgers won the World Series in 2020. Beyond knows all, sees all, is all. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. And now we want to focus on part of the fire that many of you have asked about. One woman named...